this video, we'll show you how to attach ATS to Aspera files. First, we'll look at how to use an Aspera GUI product to generate the necessary credentials. Then, we'll show you how to apply these credentials to attach ATS to files. Before you begin, we assume you have the following. An AWS S3 bucket in a supported region, the credentials for that bucket, an installation of Aspera client, point-to-point -point or enterprise server, your Aspera ID credentials, and your administrative credentials to Aspera files. In the Aspera GUI, click Connections. Click the Add Connections icon and select this option. Give this connection a name, then, enter your S3 credentials. Now, a browser opens, prompting you to enter your Aspera ID credentials. Once you've authenticated, return to the Aspera GUI, which generates the access key ID and secret you need to enable ATS transfers to and from your AWS S3 object storage. Copy and store these credentials in a secure location. Note that this is your only opportunity to save and store the secret. If you click past this screen without copying the secret, you will not be able to recover it. Also copy and store the host name. Amend the host name by adding dash all before the dot Aspera domain. These three items are what you need to add the ATS node to Aspera files. In the Files Admin Management Console, enter the Nodes and Storage interface and click Add New Node. Give this new node a name. In the Node URL field, enter the amended host name. Then, enter the ID generated by the Aspera client in the Access Key field in Files, then enter the secret. Click Add and you've successfully added your ATS instance as a node supporting Aspera files. For more information, check the ATS Getting Started Guide at ats.asperasoft.com. And thank you for your interest in Aspera products.